What's up guys, my name is Michelle Valley. Welcome or welcome back. So as we talk about the pros and cons of running an e-commerce store, if at some point you're like, hey, I wanna start an e-commerce store, I will leave a link for you guys in the description box for you to try Shopify. No pressure though, just thought it would be convenient for you. But yeah, let's hop right into it. So should you start an e-commerce store? Let's weigh it out. Here are the pros of starting an e-commerce store. First of all, if money is tight right now, this is a good option for you because there are relatively low startup costs. If you compare the cost to a traditional brick and mortar store, you don't need to pay for rent, utilities, staff, or even inventory up front if you decide to drop ship. For context, the cost of a Shopify plan a month is about 40 bucks. So yeah, really affordable. The flexibility of running an e-commerce store is another thing that's pretty amazing. If you're a big traveler, you can run an e-commerce store from anywhere in the world. If you have kids or a jam-packed schedule, you also get to choose your own hours. Also, not to mention, you get to take advantage of a global reach where you can sell your products to customers all over the world 24 seven. The one thing e-commerce has on retail is how data-driven you can be while running your business. This helps so, so much with decision-making. Collecting data on your customers and sales are gonna help you make informed business decisions like what products to sell and your advertising strategy. Okay, but there's also cons too, so let me tell you what you can expect. You can expect a lot of competition. Given the sheer volume of how many e-com businesses are, it can be real hard to stand out from the crowd. And if you're not all that technologically savvy, this might also be a con for you. You need to have some basic technical skills to set up and maintain an e-commerce store. Getting your products online can take a bit of time, especially when getting started. This can be true if you are a retail store with hundreds of products and you need to photograph them all and upload them all. If that's the case for you and it's feeling a little daunting, I would recommend you watch this video right here on how to take amazing product photography on a shoestring budget and it will teach you some really cool time-saving tricks as well. Another thing that can be a bit of a headache that e-commerce has that retail doesn't is dealing with shipping and logistics. Either you're doing it yourself or you're working with a company to do it for you but either way it's definitely one of the I would say unsexy aspects of running an e-commerce store. Shopify has a pretty sweet shipping suite that allows you to process orders and print labels with the click of a button so that is a pretty nice thing that will make the unfun parts at least a little less time consuming. Starting an e-commerce store is a great way to start your own business and be your own boss. So if you are serious about starting an e-commerce store, I recommend doing research. Subscribing to this channel is just one way, but there are also books like these and online courses like these. I will link those down in the description box for you guys as well. After this breakdown, I'm curious to know whether you are still thinking of starting an e-commerce business. Leave your comments down in the comment section down below. Also guys, if you're finding this video helpful, please consider giving it a like. And also if this is the first video you're seeing of us, this channel that you're watching here is called Learn with Shopify. And every week we teach you the business on how to run a business. And for all my entrepreneurs and budding entrepreneurs, feel free to subscribe if you feel so inclined. All right, let's talk about the pros and cons of running a retail business now so you can make an informed decision. So here are the pros of starting a retail store. There's something about a tangible presence that a retail store gives that cannot be replicated online. A retail store gives you a tangible presence in your community. It's a place where customers can come to see and touch your products and to learn more about your business. On that same tip, retail presence also gives you the opportunity for personal interaction. You can interact with your customers on a personal level and build relationships with them to learn about their needs. Did you know that retail environments foster impulse purchases? Customers are actually more likely to make impulse purchases in a retail store than online. This is because they can see and touch the products and they can ask questions to a salesperson. Then there's the brand awareness piece. A retail store can help you build brand awareness in your community. When people see your store sign and your products on display, they will start to learn about your brand, trust your brand, and eventually become members of your community. Wherever you are, whether you're ready to dive into a retail space or wanna kinda tiptoe into the water with a craft fair, a holiday market, or a pop-up shop, starting small can always be a good start. Let's talk through the cons. Remember how we said e-commerce at least affords you the flexibility to make your own hours? Well, the opposite is true with retail. There are really long hours involved in running a brick and mortar store. You may need to work weekends and holidays. And then it's definitely worth mentioning this right now because this is super timely and relevant, but when there are economic downturns, retail businesses are particularly vulnerable. When people have less money to spend, they tend to cut back on discretionary purchases. Overall, starting a retail store can be a rewarding experience. You get to actually meet customers face-to-face, -face, build a name for yourself in your community, and make a difference in the world with the products or services that you offer. But it's important to be aware of the challenges involved before taking the plunge. So what should you do? Well, there's no right or wrong answer. You gotta weigh that out for yourself, and hopefully this talk has helped. But 
if you want my personal answer, do both. If you are a retail store, I mean, there's barely an excuse as to why you can't get online or at least some of your products online. It's quick, easy, and inexpensive. If you are an e-commerce store and thinking of taking the plunge to go in person, do it if you have the money and a solid vision. If you're not sure where to start, consider getting a mentor. Getting a mentor by reaching out to folks on LinkedIn and guys, you'd be surprised how many people would be willing to help. So if you're ready to get started selling in person, you're gonna need a POS. POS stands for point of sale system. And it's a set of devices, software, and payment services merchants use to make sales in person. So how does it work? First, you can browse and purchase your hardware right over here. The nice thing about this hardware is that you can choose from a selection of POS devices to create your own custom setups. And you can sell anywhere. You can check out customers at the counter and even curbside. Let's take a look at what your options are. The Shopify POS terminal is a seamless checkout experience for customers. It comes with a dedicated countertop payment terminal and full featured customer display. This guy is going to run you $349 and this is a great middle of the road option. Want something more affordable? Shopify's tap and chip card reader with a dock is going to be $89. With this, you can accept payments on Shopify POS and keep your card reader charged and secure at the sales counter. It connects to the Shopify POS app on any tablet or smartphone over Bluetooth. Now this one is perfect for all of you that want a more robust solution. The POS terminal countertop kit. Accept payments with POS terminal and serve customers at the counter with a polished and professional checkout. It includes the POS tablet stand and POS terminal for a full featured countertop selling solution. This guy is gonna run you $459 USD. Once you make a decision and purchase what you need, you'll have 24 seven support available for your product whenever you need it. And you get a standard one year warranty. Then you'll have the chance to customize your subscription preference. You can go with Shopify POS Lite and that is included with all Shopify plans while Shopify POS Pro is an add-on that costs 89 US dollars per month per location. The differences are that Shopify POS Lite is like a basic POS system that is perfect for small businesses that only need to process in-person payments. Shopify POS Pro is a more advanced POS system that is designed for businesses that need more features like unlimited POS logins for staff. Last thing I wanna mention guys is that you can get all the selling power without any commitment. So whether you're running a pop-up shop for a day or you wanna try before you buy, you can actually rent Shopify hardware. By the way guys, before I go, I just want to say I am always so inspired by you guys. You're all so ambitious and brave. I see your comments and I know how hard y'all work and I just want you to know that I'm so impressed and proud and truly in awe of you. It's always weird like I'm talking to a camera and sometimes I feel like there's a disconnect at least for me but then I'll go in the comments and I check out your Instagrams and I look at your websites and see you know what everyone is up to and it's just really really cool. So Thanks for being great. If you guys are new here, well, I guess you've just gotten a feel for how this community is. We're, you know, a bunch of entrepreneurs learning how to be our best selves in business and in the world. And if that sounds good to you, then feel free to join us. You guys are great and I will see you guys next week.